Democratic National Convention in Chicago is elevating Illinois to the national stage this week. And Illinois Democrats say the state is a leader for the rest of the country on what they believe is a key issue for voters this election cycle, abortion rights. From your local election headquarters, state capitol reporter Theodore Kulvaris is live in our capitol newsroom. Theodore, state leaders are trying to set themselves apart on this issue. That's right, Brandon. And we've seen Illinois take further steps to protect abortion rights since Roe v. Wade was overturned. And while officials say Illinois is leading the effort on this issue, they say electing Vice President Kamala Harris to the White House is key to protecting those rights nationally. Many issues are on the top of mind for voters heading into this election cycle, like the economy. And Illinois Democrats say another key issue ties into it, abortion rights. Reproductive rights is the economy. For women to be able to work, for women to be able to take care of our children, for us to be able to put food on the table, reproductive rights and the ability to decide what's best for our bodies is an economic issue. The end of Roe v. Wade in 2022 left it up to states to make decisions about access to care. Even under Roe, states were stripping away access in the South and Midwest. People are flooding into Illinois even then. And Illinois was taking action. Since then, Illinois is often referred to as a safe haven, surrounded by states that have put restrictions or bans in place. The state put more laws on the books aimed at further safeguarding those rights. And Illinois Democrats think other states, even the entire country, can take a page from the state's playbook. We've already shown the blueprint right here in Illinois. Is there more? We hope to consider more, but I think we're doing exactly what we should be, and that's leading the nation around reproductive justice and freedom. Speaking to the Illinois delegation breakfast at the DNC Tuesday, State Treasurer Michael Ferks shared his family's experience with abortion access. When his previous wife was pregnant, the doctors told them their unborn child was growing without a brain. Doctors recommended ending the pregnancy, but he says hospitals in the Champaign area weren't able to perform abortions, leading them to Planned Parenthood. He used the story to contrast the difference between the two different parties. Dealing with the pain of knowing I'm going through all of this and it will be to bear a stillborn child or one that dies soon afterwards. That is cruel. And that's what the Republicans are offering. Democrats expect abortion to be a key issue on the ballot this year. And while Republicans have shied away from calling for a national abortion ban, we've seen in states like Missouri where there are restrictions in place that voters will have the chance to decide whether or not there's, that those abortion rights should be protected within their state's constitutions. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Theodore Olivares, WCIA 3, your local news leader. All right, Theodore, thank you.